Hey, what's up guys? So today we have a 115 based ROM for our Redmi Note 8. This is the alpha build of Driftfest ROM. The ROM is working perfectly fine though. I've been using this ROM for 3-4 days now and I did try everything as I always try out and as far as my experience goes, this ROM is pretty good. But uh, why we are going to install the Android 15 based ROM on our device right now? Obviously, because of Android 15 features. But in terms of Android 15 features, this device didn't come with much actually. So, the ROM is booted up. Let's go and explore what we are getting with this ROM. So, let's unlock the device first and check the Android version and security patch 11. Setting. And if we go with me, phone. And as you can see here, it's based on Android 15. And maybe there is a game. Yeah, there is a game which was there in Android 14 too. Going back. As you can see here, this one is Android 15 Community Alpha Build for Redmi Note 8 and the security patch level is 5th of September 2024 so it's a recent build going back in terms of UI it is pretty similar to Android 14 based ROM there is nothing much changed in Android 15 but it is pretty much stable the notification panel is there in terms of mobile data photo spot and everything it is working BOLT is working without any kind of issue display section we don't really have any kind of features extra features here Wallpaper and style. Change wallpaper. We don't really have any kind of AI wallpaper. Going back. In terms of battery, we do have all the features related to battery. As you can see here, battery life control, charging control. We do have charging control. As you can see, limit charging and automatic charging. And also charging schedule. We don't have any control over current, but it's okay for alpha build. And there is another option, battery wizard. So if you want, you can add it to your home screen. And in terms of notification, it's pretty much similar. There is nothing new I can find here. Security and privacy. We do have private space here, which introduced in Android 15 based ROM. So it is here now. And in terms of security, we don't have face unlock here, but the fingerprint unlock is working flawlessly. No issue with that. So as you can see here, no issue. And there was no delay in unlocking or relocking the device if you keep it for some time so in terms of those kind of thing there was no issue and that's all whatever we are getting here and there is nothing much actually and also there is no customization at all on this ROM maybe in future will they will include it but right now there is no customization going back in terms of application it did come with a camera application as you can see here which is maybe Google camera go which does work perfectly fine as you can see here and if you want you can install gcam too it will also work and in terms of safety net so safety net is failed so you cannot use any kind of bank application on this ROM as you can see here and in terms of google play certification it is also not here so if you use any application which required google play certification then you should not install this ROM right now so play product certification is not there and rather than that Everything seems to be working fine, no issue with that. And in terms of gaming, the gaming was going pretty good actually. And as I play Call of Duty on all, almost all the ROMs when I install on Redmi Note 8, uh, the performance is pretty good. And I can play actually low to low, low graphics and low frame rate. It's working pretty well. It is a little choppy, but it works. If you don't play game, this ROM is pretty stable. It works flawlessly, everything's working flawlessly, no issue with that. This ROM works perfectly fine. If you don't play games, I think you can use this ROM. But if you use Bank App and other application which required Google Play certification, then this ROM is not for you. Rather than that, there is nothing much going on with this ROM. And Gemini is there, but there is no feature like circle to search or anything like that. So those are not here. So that's all about Android 15 for Redmi Note 8. It's an alpha build, so we can't really expect much from this ROM right now. But the ROM link will be in the description below. And if you don't know how to flush the ROM, I did upload a short few days ago. You can check that one and you can follow that process. 
and you can install the Android 15 on your device. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.